Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to talk about a better mouse trap. This mouse trap right here. I'm going to take you over to the bench. I'm going to show you the differences. And what I'd like to really emphasize today is when you're using a mouse trap, you only want to catch mice or maybe rats. You don't want to catch squirrels or chipmunks or birds or anything else. So I'm going to show you how I actually do it. It's a very easy design. They're right there. Now, I've been using these particular mouse traps for about, I would say, five months. And over uh, the five months, well, not once have the mouse trap snapped and there hasn't been a mouse in there. So I'm going to show you the type of traps that I used in the past and uh, the design that they actually thought was a great idea. And I'm saying that, nah, this idea here with this particular mouse trap is a lot better. So let's go over to the bench. I'll show you the difference and I'll show you how to catch mice and not anything else, right? So let's get to it right now. Well, as you can see right there, all my mouse traps or rat trap is inside of a container. And you really have to do that, you know, because if not, well, you're going to catch other animals. And if you're wondering, okay, so how come this one here is all open? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to take you outside the backyard and show you why. But this is, I would say, by far the best mouse trap I've ever used. And if you take a look at this style here, with, uh, you know, with this hard plastic here and this bar going across, guess what? If you take a good look here, yeah, these are like serrated teeth kind of a thing. And they correspond to down here and no mice get out of there. But there is a couple of more interesting things about this trap that they've designed that is far better than this style of trap. So first of all, let's just show you an easy design here that you can build yourself. And as you can see, I've got lots of wood over here and uh, I'm gonna make some more. So I just took these in from outside so you can see they're a little wet still because it's snowy outside. But I'm gonna show you the design of these particular boxes. Very cheap, you know, to design and make and uh, Let's take a look and we'll see why these traps are so much better than this style of trap. The first thing that you could notice here is this trap is colored more or less on the white side. This one is completely black. I like the black design because to tell you the truth, inside of a black box, well, the mice really have very poor eyesight in the first place. And Everything being black seems to match a lot better than being white because the white really stands out and to tell you the truth, I don't think that they really, they really thought this color out very well because I find that the black itself is, uh, well, it hides the trap mechanism better. So if you take a look at this, this is a hard plastic. And when you get something that has to come up on here and go for the bait, which is right in here, well, you have to actually just press down on the outside here a little bit, and as it goes down, it snaps. Now, this is completely hard plastic. So now we'll move on to this one here. Now, i like you to just look at this here. As I press down on this, this paddle is flexible. Now there is a bait trap in here where you put your peanut butter, like this one here. Now take a look at this one here. This is a fixed post. This idea of this trap here is ingenious. So if you, I'll just try to do it slowly here and you can see that the paddle, see the paddle moves? See how far the paddle will move? And it lets it go down quite a distance. Now remember, the mouse is getting up on there. We're on this side here. The mouse will go on here and it doesn't actually set the trap off very good because the weight transfers right to the outside edge and many times by the time the trap arm comes down, well the mice escapes. This one here, it's going down and down, wow, 
Look at the power of that. So as you can see there, yeah, this trap really has a lot of power to it and it is fast. And all I did was have this light over top of the two boxes and it had that much power to vibrate the light right off. So the one thing I really like about this particular design is that the trap can be set. Here is the mechanism here. I'll give you a closer look up uh, in a second. But the trap, the whole trap idea itself is, is with this lever. You're not pulling back a big bar. So if you want to release a mouse that's in there, you just go like this. You, you, on the other styles, well, you know what? It's not so easy. You're dealing with the bar. And sometimes on the older traps, you know, the ones that you see that are wooden, well, you have to actually lift the, the bar up. This here, you're not going near the mouse at all, right? But I'm going to show you a feature on this that I've never seen before, and it's on the back side here. And as we get closer, I'll take this out. And that is right there, the bait trap, where you fill. You can put your uh, peanut butter in there, and that's it inside right there. And that is just, I think, a terrific idea. You know, the idea of the bait trap being, you know, removable, you can take out and clean, is just, I think, a good thing. And like I said before, this paddle is flexible, you know, compared to the other ones that are fixed. So, now I'll show you just the mechanism itself in the back here. If you take a look here, you can see that the only thing metal is the exact same as every other trap, which is the spring part. The rest here, it comes down and it just snaps in like this. And you know, when it comes down to it, you see how these teeth, they mesh on the other side? And that's why every time this trap has been sprung, there's been a mouse in there. And they do not get out. Okay, so I'll show you the uh, boxes next, and uh, a nice easy design that I think everybody can do. Okay, here's the design right here, and as you can see, it's just really just a box. I mean, it's nothing fancy, it's just a box itself, and you can see there's a rod that goes through it. I've got a little quarter inch carriage bolt at the top, and a one and an eighth inch hold. One inch is fine, whatever uh, size bit you have is fine, but one inch is fine. You wouldn't want to be any more than one inch. One inch does fine. So, how does this work? Well, you just got this little lever on the side here, and I've just designed it so that you can only push the rod in so far, it's not going to go no further, right? You just pull the rod out, and it's a little bit of a tight fit. And what's inside? Well, if you take a look at that there, all that is, is a conduit clamp. So I've just bolted it on here with the conduit clamp. And you can see, you just got to measure your hole here to match here so that the rod goes through and grips the top and that's it. So I'll give you a better look inside so you can see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so there's inside the uh, particular box. And the main thing I would say is what I've noticed with mice is they like to come inside and they'll actually push your trap a bit to see what's going on with this thing. They like to, to feel and smell everything. So one thing about this particular trap is you can set it and I'll just set it right here now. And I can set it right now while it's in the box. And if you take a look at the distance, I just put a little bit of a strip here so that this trap sits snug in between the back and the front. So there's a little bit of like a rub rail right here. And the whole idea is when the mouse comes in, he's only going to get to about this far before the trap snaps. And you can just do a visual from the outside and you will see that you've caught a mouse. And uh, I'll just uh, untrip it here. 
and I'll show you how it comes out. So it's easy just to take in, you know, and take out, you know, so that's uh, easy enough there. It doesn't move because a lot of times a mouse will want to come around the front and move your trap around a bit and that's sometimes how it springs it. So you can imagine how this thing when it's set off, you know, the power that this thing has is just incredible to most other mouse traps that I have used. Well, I know there's going to be a lot of you that are thinking, okay, so I really, you know, I don't have a small little brad nailer where I could just nail this together. Like, this is all just 18 gauge brad nails. No glue, no nothing. I mean, it doesn't have to be that structurally strong. But let's just say that you don't have one of these. And, uh, well, you want to put some mouse traps out, but you don't want to catch squirrels and you don't want to catch, you know, your birds and that kind of stuff. So what do you do? Well... I do have some of these traps set up outside and they're just laying on a cement slab and I'll show you the protective cover that is very inexpensive, keeps the birds out, keeps the squirrels out, uh, but does a terrific job at catching mice and uh, let's go out in the backyard and uh, let's take a look. Well here you go right here. Now as you can see there's, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's squirrel tracks here. The squirrels have gone on top. Inside there, I know you can't see, but inside there I've got two traps. And uh, same traps that I showed you, the better mouse trap. And all I've done is on the back side there, right on the lip, but on the inside, I put a little bit of peanut butter right on the ledge here. But over here, and I catch mice because they'll come across the peanut butter first, then they'll go inside because they can smell the peanut butter. And whenever I get a fresh snow, yeah, I get... Uh, all kinds of tracks on top of here from the uh, squirrels that can you know that can smell the peanut butter in there but they can't get inside and this is just a laundry hamper yes yeah, just an inexpensive laundry hamper and you notice I put on top I put a little uh, paving block on there to keep the weight because if not you know what small little critters like uh, squirrels well they can push that and uh, I've been using that now for months and months and months nothing has moved it because a little bit of a cement block on there. So whether you want to actually make a, a box like this or not, um, you know, it's entirely up to you, but it is quite easier just to go out and get yourself a, uh, like a, a really inexpensive laundry basket and make sure the holes that are going through it, you know, are not too wide. You want to be about an inch, an inch and a quarter at the uh, widest. And uh, you know, if you're wondering, Okay, so where did I get these mouse traps from? I just bought them on Amazon. Like, I don't sell anything on my channel. Uh, I don't put links down to stuff on my channel because you know what? I paid $20, like a $2, you know, coupon as well on this. I paid 20 bucks for 10. Now, I have one in the garage right here and it's been sitting there for months. Never caught a mouse in it. But you never know because I'm in and out of the garage all the time. Same as my two sheds in the back that are not sealed up that great they're just steel sheds so in the fall when i'm finished going inside the shed you know i'll put a mouse trap in each one and i just check every once in a while because you know what when you leave your doors open for an extended period of time during the summer and that kind of stuff you can get a mouse in there and not even know that it's there until the next spring you know and then you find nests and you find you know and they can do a lot of damage so you know for really two dollars a piece and you know like for the other mouse traps not the rat traps but the mouse traps i was paying well seven dollars eight dollars for two so twice the price of these and you know this design here is just awesome <laughs> you know i don't lose any any mice in here and of course i like the idea of the detachable bait you know because you know you have to clean these out once in a while too so you know the whole idea behind catching the mice is well it, it's best if you don't touch the mice either right this way here you can just open it up and they drop out and uh, that's it so thanks for joining me here today and you know hope you find this interesting and i just thought i'd mention before i close this video up is i just keep a small little jar like this you know with some peanut butter in it and just a little knife so you can dabble it in there and it works terrific so hopefully 
you know, you've seen some ideas on how to catch some mice today and how to catch them safely so you don't catch other animals in there. And, uh, you know, I know people that have actually caught cats because, you know, just the, just the tail going by and setting the trap off because, you know, cats are very curious too, animals. And you'll, I have seen cats myself in my lifetime with a mouse trap attached to its tail. So you really don't want to do these type of things, right? So you guys come back again. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe and see some more unique ideas and builds like this. Cheers.